All right, so today I just want to share this strategy that I am using to get clients faster. And this is going to also be able to help you if you're new to becoming a fertility coach, fertility doula, and you need clients and you need clients fast. Uh, and you want to be able to provide them with a service that is going to get them some results. It's going to help them to get to the root of their problems, their pain points, and figure out um, a strategy that is going to help them to start improving their fertility um, and start their fertility journey on the right path. So this is one of the strategies that I am starting to implement. I don't know why I haven't started doing this sooner. But number one is going to be to start charging for discovery calls. I've been doing discovery calls for maybe about three years, four years, maybe five years. Um, again, uh, as of this video, I started um, fertility coach about seven years ago. Um, I think it was like 2017, 2019, one of those. Um, so anyways, about seven years ago, and I've been doing discovery calls, and I have not been charging for discovery calls. As a matter of fact, I've been doing a lot for free. And um, this year, I decided that I'm not doing that anymore um, and not only that I just woke up from a horrible horrible dream I dreamt that I had helped this lady and her husband to conceive a baby and um, they were they were telling me about it and um, you know during the call I said well hey it would it be okay if I sent my PayPal um, so that way, you know, you can donate whatever you like. Um, and they're like, oh, no, not at this time. And I was like, okay, well, what about Cash App? And they were like, no, not at this time. And then they went as far as to say, or the lady went as far as to say, mm -hmm. she's like, oh, um, why should I do that just to please you? And I was so heartbroken. I started bawling. And I really feel like I was crying in real life because I woke up and I was just feeling just so defeated. And this dream just really represented a lot of what has happened for me over like at least the last year, working with a lot of different women, offering advice, and I shouldn't even say the last year, like for a very long time, um, and actually having women able to conceive um, a baby through my support who were not able to conceive before, like I'm literally crying right now. <laughs> Tears literally come to my eyes. We were able to conceive and... Um, have not um i haven't been compensated in any type of way you know other than just being able to like um understand you know their problems a little better so maybe i can create better content to attract more women like that but the problem with that is is that you run the you run the risk of attracting more women who cannot afford your services are not willing to pay and again are more like them that's just the unfortunate thing about um, any type of like uh, business is whatever wording you use um, or whatever positioning that you position yourself in or as has a tendency to attract those same type of clients over and over again. So it really is an attraction um, uh, sort of uh, thing that is happening, um, an algorithm you might say now let's get into what my strategy is is to avoid these pitfalls and to start making money as a fertility coach so that you're not suffering for five to seven years the way that i was and dealing with clients that only want free things number one start charging for your discovery calls your discovery calls are not something where your client is doing you a favor you're helping them uncover some of, you know, some very serious problems in their fertility plan or their fertility strategy that if they don't know, they're not going to ever be able to um, move on to the next step. You're giving them solutions. A lot of times you are suggesting a whole routine, a whole strategy, or they're just picking your brain. They're asking you questions that were, you were not, um, that again, like that's not what the purpose of a discovery call is for. A discovery call is to tell whether you are a good fit to work with someone, but it is also an opportunity to get to know them. Um, and it's definitely a, an opportunity for you to give them some solutions to their immediate problems, to their burning questions. Um, 
and so again uncover their pain points uncover their pitfalls and things like that so you really are providing a very valuable service the issue is when you're getting um three to four discovery calls a month that were intended to only be about 15 to 30 minutes but now these discovery calls are going on for um two hours you know and sometimes sometimes they're recurring i spoke with a woman one time over like a two month period we had like maybe three to four calls and do you think i was compensated for those calls no she did conceive do you think i was offered any type of testimonial or anything for that absolutely not right and so you don't want to run that risk it's like okay yeah sure i get to say that you know um i helped this woman conceive or you know this woman conceive as a result of my my uh, my my strategies um but does the client say that do you have any proof of that is your life any better for that necessarily right and, and then sometimes the case is going to be no um so number one start charging for your fertility strategies um and or sorry your fertility discovery calls and it doesn't have to be um it doesn't have to be like a very high price point. This is just something just to ensure that the client, number one, sees value in the discovery call um, and is going to show up. And that also that the client is going to participate. She's going to take whatever you you, you, you tell her seriously. It's not going to be um, a call where it's like, you know, you got to sit around and wait for this person to actually stop driving or stop doing what they're doing or seem like they just have you just waiting around for them. Like I've been in that type of situation um, where they just don't take the call seriously. They, they cancel at the last minute. They don't see the value in the discovery call because to them, the discovery call is just another conversation. It's just another um, chat. And you know, this is someone who's talking to people all, all day. What, what value or what more how much more important is what you have to say um, to them? The only, the only thing, the only importance they would see is that okay, well, you consider yourself a fertility coach. You might actually know something that can help me. Um, I'm going to ask you rather than asking my friend who I don't want to hear anyways talk about about fertility. So there's not that much greater value in talking to you than talking to somebody else if you're not charging them for it. And in some cases, they might even just be. Um, you know, sort of just wanting to, again, just sort of judge your expertise, um, like not coming to the call with the right mindset, you know, not really yeah. coming to the call with any type of um, in, in intention of actually getting to the root of their problem. It could be some other reasons why they're calling you that have nothing to do with really them trying to find a solution. It could just, it's, again, just time wasters, right? So we want to help to um, stop that um, and, and just start making sure that your time is actually being put in the right place, that you're actually helping clients that really want to be helped. Because believe it or not, there are some clients that really want to be helped and you might have just spent two hours on a client um that's it's not going anywhere and and they'll hang around and and continue to even want to book calls you know to over a space of two three years just because you offer them for free All right so anyways number one charge your call charge for your calls number two this is this is what you do so you're going to charge for your calls right but your calls now are going to be even more structured so now your calls are going to need to have even more structure um, because again, you're going to need to justify the call. Like sure, you're sure your call is justified in and of itself. You're a fertility coach. You have a vast knowledge and vast wisdom, the vast, um, you know, experience you, you're, you, you have all of these skills and all of these, this insight as to how to in, in help anyone improve fertility, especially your ideal client. Um, but now you need to actually put that in print or put that in some type of uh, format or service that is going to seem or be more viable right so you you really are just tightening up and you're really just cleaning up on what you're already doing or what you're um 
what you you would otherwise be doing if you weren't charging right so for example for myself i um over the years i've offered workbooks to help clients to um again figure out what their their pitfalls are what um what their strategy is going to be i've given them a 30-day plan um i've given them a breakdown of the 30-day plan like you know so i've given um I've given PDF files and a workbook on like the, the 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 process of the call, you know, so they can fill out while we're talking. I've even given out an ebook to read before the call to fill out some parts of the workbook, so like to help them to understand, like, okay, what's going to be said during the call, but actually to also help them um, before we even get on the call, um, and. Um, I've given a strategy, a checklist, I've given different things, but it would be here and there, right? But what you're going to do right now is you're going to create a PDF file um, template for, you know, to start with. It's going to be a template that is going to help them, or sorry, that you're going to give to them after the call. You could even give them one before the call, but you're, the one you're going to give before the call is just going to be something for them to like fill in the blanks are to just understand the structure of the call and write down any questions that they have. Um, you're also going to get them to fill out a questionnaire. Now, this is something I haven't always done, and I started doing it more so like um, within like the last three years, trying to give them a questionnaire. The problem is when you're doing a free discovery call, if your questionnaire is not directly linked to your, um, your, your call booking platform if it's not directly linked there the client can book the call not fill out the questionnaire um, not read the emails to fill out the questionnaire before the call and then the next thing you know you're on the call with a client that you know nothing about and you are you're not prepared for the call sure you may be able to answer all of their questions but you're not able to go as deep within a 30 minute period of time so again, charging for your calls is one way to ensure that your client is going to make sure that they do their end of the um, the bargain and fill out the questionnaire, which is going to not only give you some insight into what some of their issues are, but it's going to help them to get um, better uh, solutions, right? Um, and again, the discovery call is not a coaching call, so you're not going in too deep. Um, you're not offering any type of coaching, but you are able to just, you know, answer, um, the questions that they have, um, within the scope of a discovery call, All right? So then you're going to, you're going to create a, pre a PDF, um, that is going to, again, give some structure to the, the call. And then after the call, what you can do is you can give them a summary of not only the call, but an action plan. Right. So the stuff that you're going to you're going to likely feel inclined to do anyways, you're going to likely feel inclined to go the extra mile to do a little bit of extra work to give them this guide or create something for them. And I'm not saying that you should go and you should do anything extra after the call. because That is another pitfall of doing discovery calls is when you make promises to the client that you're going to, you know, provide them with this this guide you're going to get them these resources or you're going to you know create them um just something that you're going to email them deliver and guess what they never look at it you have no confirmation that they've seen it and there's there's um usually no follow-up but with this step number two you're including a follow-up call right and so this is important because just because you hop on a call for someone with, uh, for 15 minutes, my lighting is going, I was using sunlight, but it's gone. Just because you hop on a call with someone for 15 minutes and you, you know, give them all of this information and you tell them how to solve, um, well, you know, what steps they need to take and you give them clarity on what the problem is just because you give them that, um, it doesn't mean that, um, they're going to follow through with it. And it definitely, uh, there's no follow up there if it's free. Right. But with, with you charging that that's going to be included in the charge is that you're going to offer a follow up call where you're going to go over the summary of the call that you had and the suggestions that you made. So the 
um, the steps that you included for them to follow. Um, what was in the, you're also going to give them a summary um, in the PD, in a PDF file, you're going to give them a summary and an action plan. Okay. This is not, you're not giving them a strategy. You're not necessarily, you're not giving them free coaching or, you know, going in and, and, and doing a whole bunch of stuff. You're giving them a simple summary of the call and a clear action plan. So this clear action plan can look like a checklist. Okay. Like, you know, you can get them a checklist. Oh, hey, you, you know, you do need to eat more dark leafy greens. Um, you do need to make sure that you um, are um, exercising for 30 minutes, three times a week. So just really basic information that you would be providing um, in, say, like a free PDF guide anyways, but you're tailoring it more to them. So now that they've told you, hey, I'm smoking, I'm doing this, you're going to say you're going to you're going to um, need to cut that out. And um, <clears throat> you can also, you know, um, start drinking more water and consuming things like that. But you're going to make it very tailored um, to them. And again, it's not coaching. It's um, really just uh, sort of free advice that you're already giving and you're already providing, but you're making it tailored to them so they can take it um, as a more personalized approach or action plan, right? And so you're going to schedule a follow-up call to review that. And of course, during this follow-up call, you're going to also be able to um, review where you have uh, suggested, okay, that if, if you have a program or if you have um, a next step or a actual strategy call, um, you're going to make sure that they're uh, enrolling in that, that they're registered for that, that they're taking the steps to um, start um, looking into that further because at the end of a discovery call usually you, uh, you this, this is what you do you help the client to um, take the next step right and so for me my next step would be either to enroll directly into one of my signature into my signature program or to um, get an actual coaching call um, package which uh, just like a d discovery call is a series of calls so there may also be two calls in there but in the in the strategy call you're actually getting coaching right so we're actually going deeper into the problem you're actually um getting a more thorough package um you're getting support um on a deeper level than what you're going to get during a discovery call during a discovery call the client usually should be the one doing most of the talking um and really you're just offering them um, guidance as to what they're doing wrong, what they can do better, and what steps they can take to be able to accomplish that. During a strategy call, th this is one of the steps that they're taking to actually accomplish the problems that they were having previously um, in a personalized way. So I can make a whole nother video about the difference between a strategy call and a discovery call, but that's just a quick summary. But this is one way that you can um, not only start having more, creating more value as a fertility coach and also start to earn um, some money um, while you are spending hours on the phone with clients and to also help to make sure that the clients that you start to collect now are going to be more valuable clients because later on down the road, if you are creating an email list, these clients, these these. The clients that you attract now, they're the ones that are going to be on your list for, um, you know, about five to seven years, some of them before they ever enroll. Okay. I know it sounds scary, but um, you, you don't need all your clients to enroll. So, of course, you're going to have some that are readier than others, but you don't want to fill your list with um, clients who for five to seven years, you're going to be paying for on your email list. Like you're literally paying for these clients Maybe you have, with some of these email companies. You don't want to be paying for clients that are never going to be able to or want to afford your program. They're just always just wanting you to dish out free information, not realizing that no matter how much free information you give them, it's not necessarily going to work for them if they don't implement the strategies. But again, you can have clients like I've had I've had clients that just popped up out of nowhere and been like, yeah, hey, um, I'm pregnant. I, I've been following your stuff. Um, and 
you know, they're having success or, you know, their, their menstrual cycles are lightning and clear enough. Um, and like, those are like missed opportunities for you to not only be able to work with the problem, but the, the, the client that's understand the problems better. And again, in a lot of cases, you might not get testimonials from them. Not to say that, you know, oh, they don't deserve to be helped or anything like that. Of course, they're being helped by your free, your free um, um, content that you're putting online. But I think that uh, if you want to tap in deeper to those clients who are able to get su um, success from you, and if you want to be able to provide that success on a deeper level, that is better to start charging for the clients up front so that way you fill your email list with um, only clients who are willing to invest in themselves and who see the value in you. So that is, those are my two steps for how to be a successful fertility coach and to start earning money right off the bat.